Hey guys, I'm Tech from Tech Driven, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer contacts from your old Galaxy device to the new Galaxy Note 10, in my case Note 10 Plus. Similar process also works with iPhone if you want to transfer your contacts information from your iPhone to the Note 10. So when you first turn on the phone, this is what you're going to get. Let's go. Let's get started. So the so first screen is, of course, the terms and condition and you want to check all of them on so i already kind of started doing it the third one here is actually sending uh, diagnostic and data to samsung this is actually optional you can turn that off and on information linking is also optional you can turn that on, off and you can actually find out details what it does it's really up to you of what you want samsung to collect uh, they're sending information regarding your devices and all that kind of stuff that you connected to they're claiming that's for your experience and I'm gonna click next. So next step is bring your old data from quick setup. So from here you have a couple options. You can do it wirelessly. So especially if you have an iPhone, uh, I think wireless is probably the best choice. You can, you can actually back up uh, from your iCloud without even the phone by logging into the iCloud. Uh, you can do it a cable or USB connector and you can skip for now if you wanna set up a, as a brand new phone. So in my case, I'm gonna be transferring over from my Galaxy S7 to the Note 10. So I'm gonna be using it over a cable because this is the fastest and more stable. Also, make sure that your old phone is charged. I have 87% here. This one has weak battery, so hopefully it will work. So right now it's asking me update using Wi-Fi to make sure that I have the latest smart switch software installed. So let's get connected. It's updating the smart switch. Make sure I have the latest version for transferring content over from my old phone. So next step is old versus new. So what you wanna do here is your new phone it came with this little dongle. This is the ODB, I believe, OBD, whatever it is. It's comes with your phone and this is for transferring contacts. So here you actually have um, various ways to connect to your new phone. You can connect directly without this dongle. Uh, if you have a uh, cable like old phone where um, one of the sides is just a regular USB, we need a way to connect to this phone and this is where the dongle comes in. So you would connect this side to your dongle and this is a USB-C connector. So we're gonna connect this one to our Galaxy Note 10. And of course it found automatically. We're gonna press allow on our old phone. And as you can see, it's pretty much automatic. So right now it's scanning the phone, my old phone. I, you notice that the brightness of this phone is lower, but I haven't messed around with it whatsoever. This is how it came in a box versus this is almost 100% if I'm not mistaken. And let's see if we can lower it so that way the battery will last longer. Just remember that it has 12 gigabytes RAM and an A55 Snapdragon processor, so it's definitely moving fast. One thing I want to point out, and I'll also point it out in a other video, if you're looking for fast charging brick for your phone, for the new one, make sure that it's PPS. So this is running at 3M, 25 watts, but if you wanna go 40, make sure that, or even getting second one just like this, make sure it's PPS to, make, to enable the fast charging. Next step is choose what you want to bring. We have right now selected 9.53 gigabytes, which doesn't seem right. So, so right now everything internal storage is selected. We do want to select all. So let's bring our total to 58.53 gigabytes. So we'll transfer everything from the device to the Galaxy 7 Plus, the SD card that's on this device. And I want to do that because uh, I want the spare SD card to be fairly fresh. And this one I'm gonna retire with this phone because it's only 64 gigabytes. So I think we're ready to go. 
Next up is select messages to transfer. I have uh, since the last two years 456, 4,564 messages or 12,035. Let's go all. So now it's getting connected. Asking for my Wi Fi connection. If you did not ask you for the check the software update and you did not connect to Wi Fi, I will do it again. Sign into your Google account. So now that we signed into our Google account, we gotta agree to terms and conditions. You can actually make the screen to stay up on the old phone if you want to, but in my case, since my battery's gonna probably run low, I don't choose backup. Two hours ago. What you wanna restore? Device setting, call history, apps, all that stuff. So protect your phone. It is asking us if you want to do face recognition, fingerprint, pattern, pin, password, or not now. So for this particular purpose, we're gonna do not now. We can do that always a later date. Checking out what's trending on the Google Assistant. Backup. Storage, location, on, on. Allow scanning. Send usage and diagnostic data on. Remember, you can always turn on later on in time. Install updates and apps. Accept. I just hope my Galaxy S7 battery will last long enough to fully restore the phone. Remember, I'm using a stylus, but you don't have to. This is just so it's easier to see on the camera. So I have logged into my settings account. The first one is to use the customization service, which is option. You don't have to select any of those. I'm gonna select yes on this one. The second one is receive the marketing information. Of course, I'm gonna say no to that. I don't wanna get push notification regarding new updates. I check, I go online and view stuff like that constantly. So I don't need extra mail, email or text messages from Samsung regarding this. I'm gonna skip. finish consent notes to sync your notes with Samsung Cloud tap settings then allow the following permission contacts and phone So right now it's syncing about to start. It's uh, doing updates for applications. So right now it's doing all the information. It's also backing up. So let's click on that. So right now it's saying 2%. So it's only one hour, 33 minutes left to finish this up. We can actually work on the phone and do some other stuff. We're getting this, it's also downloading applications. The latest updated applications from the Google Store. So I guess we're going to come back in an hour and 32 minutes to see once it's done. So we're now 2%. I'm going to put my S Pen back and we're going to let it sit and complete. Okay, I believe it should be done copying right now. Pick up the phone. Copied items, 457 contacts, Google messages, all that stuff. One app cannot be copied. And it's Oculus, which we're okay with. So, you wanna verify that everything gets copied. Boom, boom, look at that. They even kept the same layout. as my previous phone. See, look at that. See last screen. Fingerprint is not as great as the 
old phone. Let's go to last screen. Look at that. We kept the same layout. But of course, some of the apps, like Samsung Pass, wasn't copied because it has different apps. And of course, if it doesn't work the first time, you may want to try again. You'll just find the Smart Switch app. And now that it's done, we can unplug our phone. And we're pretty much ready to go. So I was, I believe it was about 68%. We had 60% so it did eat some of the battery. Or our old phone. We're down to we're down to 54%. So actually didn't eat that as much battery as I was thinking. But in case your battery doesn't last, uh, what I would suggest is you can charge your phone while you have connected to your new device is to uh, place it on a charging pad if you have one, a wireless charging pad that will keep, uh, charge your phone while it's being transferred. Uh, when it comes to heat, yeah, there's no heat really. Slightly, I can feel that it's slightly warmer, but it's not significant whatsoever. And of course, this one is cold as well. So this is how you transfer content. And if you need uh, any more information or help, please let me know in the comments below. Click like, dislike like the video or not. And I hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe.